to welcome all of you uh, to this um, special symposium on race, families and inequalities um, that's hosted by the Institute for Social Science Research. And I would particularly like to welcome and to thank um, our very distinguished international visitors. So um, Matt Desmond, Glenn Lowry, Kathy Eden and Bruce Weston. Where For some of you this is a, a sort of repeat visit and we're delighted to have all of you here. Um, I'd like to start by just acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, uh, the Jagera and Turrbal people, and pay my respects to Elders past and present. Uh, I think most of you know who I am, but my name is Mark Weston and I'm the Director of uh, the Institute for Social Science Research here at UQ. As I said, we're really very excited to be hosting this uh, symposium on race, families and inequality. Most of you know that the Institute here was established in about sort of late 2007, early 2008 to address some of the major challenges facing Australia. And much of the work that we do grapples with trying to understand and describe and explain the causes of inequality and importantly tries to understand ways to address inequality. So whether it's the research that we do on topics such as housing and homelessness, um, on indigenous issues, the work on third party policing, the research that happens around education and employment, the work on sort of family dynamics. Inequality is a central theme of research in the Institute and it cuts across much of the work that we actually do. Our primary focus um, is Australia and the region, but it's actually fitting that we have a very eminent group of scholars to come and talk to us today about the United States. There are some interesting similarities between our two countries. Like the US and other English-speaking countries, Australia experienced declining inequality throughout much of the 20th century, coupled with a takeoff in inequality, in inequality from the 1980s, which has progressively worsened. The growth in inequality in Australia hasn't been as extreme as the growth in inequality in the United States, but you could say that about most places. Um, <laughs> but Australian scholars have argued about some of the same reasons for inequality that American scholars have. We've pointed to things like a change in government redistributive regime and declining taxes and transfers. We've talked about the effects of labour market deregulation, about deunionisation. Uh, people have looked at things like econ increased economic returns to schooling and to education. And we've been conscious of the takeoff in incomes at the very top of the income distribution. We've also been conscious of the varying effects of globalisation on inequality. Like American scholars, Australian researchers have also recognised that families are centrally implicated and involved in processes of inequality and in inequality outcomes. And where race profoundly frames inequality in the United States, Indigenous status does so in Australia. So given these similarities, we're very well placed for a tremendously stimulating set of presentations and discussions today. This event, I think, uh, was originally proposed by Bruce Weston. I, I to have some recollection, but I'm, I'm not certain how it came up. And as I said, both Bruce and Cassie, Bruce and Bruce and Kathy are sort of repeat sort of visitors to the institute, and we're really delighted. I think this is actually Kathy's third visit now, and Bruce, I, I've sort of lost track. Um, I, I don't keep count. Um, and we're delighted to have you all here. Now, on those previous occasions, um, as with this one. One of the key people in the institute um, who really instigated this activity and has been responsible for sort of kind of getting it to happen was Janine Baxter. And I would like to acknowledge Janine and, and thank her for this. Um, when we sort of first came up with the idea of this symposium, um, Janine and I invited Andrew Lee to attend. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Andrew Lee um, was formerly Professor of Economics um, at ANU, um, and he's now the federal member for uh, Fraser for the Labor Party um, in the Australian Capital Territory. And Andrew has done a lot of work around issues, particularly of economic inequality um, in Australia. Andrew was uh, very dis disappointed not to be able to attend and he, he made the point that um, Tony, Tony Abbott wouldn't give him a pair to uh, um, attend a symposium. Um, uh, what that essentially means is that, um, uh, that he, he wouldn't essentially get leave from the leader of the opposition to visit and they would, they would, um, they would um, decline to vote, um, decline one vote in the, um, in the House of Representatives so that the um, uh, parliament wouldn't be, wouldn't be unbalanced by Andrew's departure. So Andrew couldn't get away. Uh, to come and see us, but he did want to say something, and so he sent us a little YouTube video. And 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 being 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 Andrew, he's um he's, he's very high tech. So we'll just play Andrew's short sort of welcome. Good day, my name's Andrew Lee, a 
Federal Member of Parliament uh, and former Professor of Economics. I wanted to send this message uh, because Janine and Mark were generous enough to invite me to join you today uh, and I would have been delighted to be able to do it uh, if I'd been able to get leave from Parliament. Uh, being able to come uh, to Queensland and hear from a star-studded cast, uh, people like uh, Cappy Eden and Glenn Lowry, uh, Matt Desmond and of course Bruce Weston coming back home where he belongs, uh, it would have been a great opportunity. Uh, but as it is, I wanted to leave a, a short message about the importance of the issues you're discussing today. I think too often Australian policymakers look to the United States for, uh, in, in much the way in which uh, boat builders uh, look to those who constructed the Titanic. Uh, we assume that because income gaps are wider, uh, because uh, racial challenges are often more difficult, uh, and because neighbourhoods are very different from one another, that Australians can't learn anything from the US experience. But I think there's a lot to learn. There's a vibrant community of researchers in the United States and a sense of uh, depth and empirical rigour uh, that isn't always found elsewhere. Uh, there's an emphasis on randomised policy trials, such as the Moving to Opportunity experiment, uh, and an understanding that sometimes the right answer isn't the one that fits the right ideology, it's the practicalities of what works. So I wish you all the best for your discussions today. I'm looking forward to consuming as much of it as I can uh, through reading your papers and checking out whatever podcasts or vodcasts you leave afterwards. It's important work uh, and as a policy maker and uh, uh, these days occasional researcher, I'm very grateful to you for engaging in such important research and to bringing, bringing such superstars uh, to, to Australia to discuss these important issues. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, but I must say that I, I certainly um, echo the sentiments um, that, that Andrew expressed in that video. I think it's, it's very, very clearly the case um, that um, US scholarship around these kinds of issues um, has a sort of a, a, a theoretical and an empirical depth and, and a rigour that um, you don't really find um, in, in too many other places in the world. And, and for that reason, if no other, and I think there's actually a lot of other reasons, um, uh, there, there is a lot that we can, that we can actually learn uh, from, uh, from the US. Now, as, as Andrew said in his introduction, we have a stellar group of researchers here today. Um, I just want to briefly introduce each of them now. I'm not going to have time um, in this introduction to do any of them justice, um, but I will, I will just quickly tell you who, who we have. And I'll, I'll take them in the order that we have them slated to present today. So hopefully this won't come as a shock uh, to, to those, of, those of you who are sitting there. So, so our first speaker will be Bruce Weston. Uh, Bruce is a professor of sociology at Harvard. He's the director of the Malcolm Weiner um, Centre for Social Policy in the John F. Kennedy School of Government. It feels very strange to me reading a, reading a biography about Bruce. Um, his research interests are in the fields of social stratification, inequality, political sociology, uh, statistical methods. Amongst other things, he's the author of Punishment and Inequality um, in America, which is a study of the growth and the social impact of the American penal system. His first book uh, was Between Class and Market, and it examined the development and decline of labour markets, uh, labour unions, sorry, in the, post, in the post-war industrialised democracies. Uh, Bruce taught at Princeton from 1993 to 2007, and he has a PhD uh, in sociology from UCLA. Bruce will be followed by our second speaker, Glenn Lowry, who is the Merton P. Stoltz Professor of the Social Sciences and Professor of Economics at Brown University. Um, Glenn has taught previously at Boston, at Harvard, at Northwestern, <coughs> and at the University of Michigan. He has a BA in Mathematics and a PhD in Economics from MIT. Um, Glenn has published widely as an academic economist in areas such as applied microeconomic theory, game theory, industrial organisation, natural resource economics, and the economics of race and inequality. But Glenn's also a prominent social critic and a public intellectual, and he's written more than 200 essays on topics in racial inequality and social policy, um, and he's e extremely, extremely prolific in this area. Glenn's books include The Anatomy of Racial Inequality, Ethnicity, Social Mobility and Public Policy, and Race, Incarceration and American Values. Um, 
Glenn will take us through to lunch. We'll have about an hour for lunch, uh, which will be here. Um, and then we will hear from Kathy Eden. And Kathy is Professor of Public Policy and Management in the Kennedy School um, at Harvard. Kathy's research, many of us here are very familiar with many aspects of Kathy's research, focuses on urban poverty, family life, social welfare, public housing, child support, non-marital childbearing. Kathy received her PhD in sociology from Northwestern University. She's taught at Rutgers, at Northwestern, and the University of Pennsylvania. Her books include Promises I Can Keep, Why Poor, Poor Women Put Motherhood Before Marriage, Unmarried Couples with Children. Um, her new book, Doing the Best I Can, Fatherhood in the Inner Cities, coming out later this year, I think, is it? May or thereabouts? Uh, we have physical copies. You have physical copies, okay. And we heard Kathy speak about this book, I think, last year, probably in July when you were visiting the Institute. So we're all looking forward, all looking forward to that. Um, our last speaker will be Matt Desmond. Matt is Assistant Professor of Sociology and Social Studies at Harvard. Matt received his PhD from the University of Wisconsin-Madison and then he joined the Harvard Society of Fellows as a junior fellow. He works primarily in urban sociology, race and ethnicity, poverty, social theory, organisations and work, um, and ethnography. He's the author of On the Fire Line, Living and Dying with Wildland Firefighters and Racial Domination, Racial Progress. His forthcoming book um, is The Racial Order. A number of us here will also know Matt's work because he has a terrific paper in the most recent American Sociological Review called Unpolicing the Urban Poor. And that's been, that's been very interesting to a number of people working here. The format today uh, will be that each of the speakers um, has an hour. Uh, they can speak for up to about 40 minutes. Um, and then we'll have time for questions. Um, People will have preferences about um, how they, how they, whether they would like to take questions while they're speaking or they want to hold them to the end and I'll just let them manage that. We will also have a, a panel discussion um, at, the, um, at the end of the day where we will invite four um, speakers uh, from the Institute to respond very briefly to the talks that have been given today and, and then we will open it up for conversation. And, and the four people from the Institute um, who will be, will be on the panel will be um, Lorraine Mazarol, um, who heads up our program in policing and security, um, Paul Mehmet, um, who heads up um, our research program around Indigenous Australia, uh, Cameron Parcell, um, who heads our research program in sort of housing, homelessness, well-being and most other things, um, and Bill Martin, who heads up our research program in education and employment. So those will be the four, the four panellists uh, from the ISSR side. So we have actually kept pretty much to time, um, and so what I'd like to do now is just hand over to Bruce Weston um, as the first speaker and ask you to welcome him. Thank you.